Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called add two numbers. So you are given two non-empty linked lists representing two negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order. Each of the nodes contain a single digit. Just add the two numbers and return the sum. Okay, let's try to take an example. We have 243 and 564 as the example. So let me take the example. You have 243 as one of the linked list and the second linked list is 564 right so what you have to do you have to add the two link list so let's add the two link list if i add 2 plus 5 what do i get i get 7 so we have to write 7 here now let's add 4 and 6 if i add 4 and 6 what do i get i get 10 right i get 10 so instead of writing 10 here i'm only going to write a single digit so what will i do i will only write 0 and i will carry forward 1 okay 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. So then I write 8. Okay, that's it. So let's try to take more examples so that the logic becomes clear and maybe this example is not sufficient. Let me take some other example. Let's say we have 3, 6, 7, 2, 5, something like this. And let me take another link. Let's say we have 2, 8, 4, 9, something like this. Okay. Now let's add these two link lists. So now we are going to add these two link lists. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So the first number is 5. Then 6 plus 8 is 14. So we don't write 14 because we have to write only single digit, right? So we write 4 and then we take 1 as the carry. So 1 becomes our carry over. Now we have 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. So we don't write 12, rather we write 2. And we take 1 as the carry over. Now 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. So we don't write 12, we write 2 and we take 1 as the carry over, right? Now we have 5, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, so 6, this is your final answer, okay? Because you are adding in reverse order, so I know this is not the way we do addition, uh, it's, it's different from that, but in this question, we have to do addition in the way that they have given, okay? Let's take one last example and then we'll move forward to coding it. So let's say we have 9, 8, 3, 6, 5, something like this, right? And let's say we have one more link list, we have... 3, 7, 6, 1, something like this. Okay, let's add these two link lists. So what we are going to do? We are just going to add the number. So what are you doing? You have the first link list, you have the second link list. Just add the two values. Now 9 plus 3 is 12, right? 9 plus 3 is 12. So now, instead of 12, what do you have to write? In the new link list, in the new link list L3, you have to write 2. So what is 2? 2 is what? If you just divide 12, and you just take the mod right if you take 12 mod 10 you get 2 so what will you write here you add these two numbers you get the value you take mod with 10 and write that value here okay that's what we are doing because we are getting 12 but we don't write 12 what do we write we write 2 right so we don't write 12 we write 2 what is 2 2 is just 12 mod 10 so we have to remember this okay now we have written 2 so now what is the carry carry is 1 how do you find the carry the value that you got is 12 right but if you divide 12 by 10, you get 1. So 1 is the carryover. Okay, because your number is exceeding 10, 12 is greater than 10. So you have a carry. So you have to take this carry forward. So you get carry and carry is 1. So let me write here. For the next iteration, carry is equal to 1. Now let's add these two. Along with these two, we will also add the carry. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Okay. So what is the number that we finally get by adding the two numbers and the carry? We get the number 16. But you don't have to write 16 what do you have to write 16 mod 10 what is that 6 so what will you write here you will write 6 here and what is the carry over you got 16 right 16 by 10 is 1 so 1 is your carry for the next time so again for the next time you have 1 as the carry okay now let's add these two numbers 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 the number you get is 10 now 10 mod 10 is what 10 mod 10 is 0 so what will you write here you will write here 0 and what is 10 by 10 10 by 10 is 1 so for the next time again what is your carry 1 is your carry for this time also so now 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 now what is your carry carry if you do 8 8 divided by 10 it is 0 that means for the first time you have no carry over okay now carry over is 0 for the next time so 5 plus 0 is 5 so you write 5 that's it right so it's very simple basically we have linked list you have to just take care of the carry and the reminders that you are getting and you will get the answer okay now let's move forward to coding it to understand this better so you have basically two linked list right and you have to return one answer linked list so let me do one thing let me write list node 
L3. This is a new linked list that we are going to make. This is a new linked list that we are initially let me just give its value as 0. Okay. Now what we will do? We will iterate over both the linked list. Till when do you have to iterate? Both the linked list should have some value, right? That means both should not be null. If it is null, there is no point in iterating over them. So while both are not null, we will iterate over them. Okay. Now let's start. So what you are doing, very simple. You are taking the value in the first linked list. You are taking the value in the second linked list. Okay. And you are adding the carry. Okay. That's it. These are the three things that you are going to do and you will get something and that something is called value. So let me declare carry. Carry is initially zero. And as we change, we get a different carry. We will keep on changing the carry. So what is carry? Basically carry is nothing. See, let's say the value of this is 16. Okay. Let's say you add these two numbers and you get 16 okay let's say let's say in the first link list uh, the value was 9 in the second link list let's say value was 7 so you added both of them you got 9 plus 7 16 okay and let's say initially carry was 0 so what is the final result you get you get 16 so your value that you get is 16 okay now what will be the carry over for the next time carry over for the next time will be just value by 10 so if you do 16 by 10 what will you get if you do 16 by 10 you get 1 so 1 is the carry over for the next time okay that's it that's the simple logic now we have the carry over now what will be the value that you will insert in the linked list right so in the new linked list that we are creating which is our answer you will also insert the value right but you will not insert 16 what will you insert you will insert 6 okay so let's insert 6 so i'm going to create a new linked list node. I'm not going to insert 16. If I give value, what I will do in the new linked list, I will insert 16. I don't want that. I have to do mod 10 and insert. So if I do this, I will insert 16 mod 10. What is 16 mod 10? 16 mod 10 is 6. So I will insert 6 in the new linked list. Okay. That's it. And now what I'll do for the next time, L3 will become equal to L3's next. Okay. And similarly, L1 will become equal to L1's next. L2 will become equal to L2 snakes. So we'll keep on doing this and we'll keep on iterating over. That's it. The logic is this much, this simple. Okay. That's it. So we have solved the problem. Okay. Now there's just one more thing. In the end, right? So so this will solve the problem when when L1 and L2 are both of the same size. But in the end, if you have this this thing left out, right? For example, in this case, for example, in this case, till here both of L1 and both of L2 are valid. Okay. But what if, what if you have some, some digits left out, L1's length is greater than L2 or L2's length is greater than L1, then you still have to take, consider this case, right? So after exiting this while loop, okay, there may be still some digits left in L1 or L2. So if L1 has greater length than L2, there'll be some digits left in L1. So what do you have to do? Nothing. You have to do the same thing. Just I will copy paste this code, do the same thing. Just remove L2. That's it. So wherever there is L2, I'll just remove that remaining entire code remains same, right? I'm doing nothing. I'm just removing L2. That's it. Remaining entire code remains same. Same thing I will do for L2. Same thing I'll do for L2. If L2 is greater than L1, what I'm going to do? The same code I'm going to copy because there's nothing new in this code. We have already discussed what this code is doing. Now here I will remove L1. That's it. Okay. That's it. So now this will work. Now finally what I can do. Now see, there's one thing. Now when all this happens, where will L3 be? Initially L3 will point here. Then L3 will point. So let me write first L3 is here, next L3 points towards here, L3 points towards this and then L3 points towards this. But what do we want to return? We want to return the head, right? We want to return the head of this linked list. So, but my L3 has reached to the end, right? So, but I want to return the head. So I will have to declare some, some other head. Okay. So let me declare some other head because I want to return the head, not the end position. L3 will reach at the end, but I want to return the head of the newly created linked list. So what I will do, I'll declare some head pointer. I'll make it equal to L3. Okay. Now, initially I just gave a dummy value zero, right? So what I will do, what I'll do, I'll return heads next. So what I'm doing here, what did I do? See, very simple. Initially when I had no L3, right? So let me consider the case when I had no L3. Okay. So what we did, we created some dummy node zero. After that, we, we added two, we added six, we added zero, we added eight. Okay. Now, when we are iterating, L3 also moves along, right? Every time I'm moving L3, I, I give L3 equal to L3 is next, right? So finally, see, see, I have always given the statement L3 equal to L3 is next. Okay. So L3 always reaches the end. Okay. But I want to return the head. Now my head is pointing towards the zero. So what I will do to return this head, to return the final answer, this link list, I will return heads next. Okay. Just I'm doing a simple trick so that I can 
retain the head and i can return this okay that's it that's the thing now this code will work except for one case okay this code will entirely work except for one case let's run and see what is the problem with this code see this code is working for one case it will not work and what is that case let's see see this is the case for which it will not work why is it not working here what is happening see let's see what is happening here 9 plus 9 is 18 right then 9 plus 9 uh, is 18 and carry over is 1 okay so 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 1 is 19 again carry over is 1 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 1 is 19 9 plus 9 is 18 18 plus 1 is 19 then 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 okay so we are returning everything correct but in the end there is still one carryover that is left and we are not returning that so we have to return if there is a carryover in the end we have to return that one see the expected answer is this but what we are returning we are returning all the digits correctly except this one so at last if you have a carryover you have to return that so uh, let's just give that additional line so at last if you have a carry right you have to return that also so l3 next is equal to new lith node of carry that's it this simple line of code will ensure that our code is working for all the test cases so let's see so it's working thank you for being patient and listening